Hello and welcome back. This is Trump from Homegrown Audio. Let's just say this is a beginner's class and I'm going to show some features of Serum and some new features from the latest update, which are very cool. But yeah, we're not really going to make any sounds. I'm just going to explain what everything does. Whoever is not a beginner, maybe you'll find something useful so you can stick around. But this is a beginner's class. If you just want to check the new features on Serum, fast forward to minute 945. If you haven't done it yet, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot to build up the channel. Here we go. So here we have the audio path and down we have the modulators. These are the two main parts of your synthesizer. We have three different types of oscillators. We have a sub oscillator that just gives us basic, basic waveforms and just basic shapes. Then we have noise oscillator and it already comes with a variety of sounds and noises and you can just drag and drop audio and it will import it like a sampler so you can use it like that as well this is the third type of oscillator and this is a wavetable oscillator so here you can change the wave or wavetable like this is not like a normal wave so like a normal oscillator this would be just one shape this is a wavetable and it's and it changes as you move the wavetable position and you can also drag and drop audio or even images and do crazy stuff with it. You can edit it here and we'll see that in a video very soon. For now, let's just keep to the basic functions. So here are all the oscillator controls. Unison just adds voices like a choir. So you can see in the oscillator how it's showing more and more lines as we add up voices. If you click here on the global, here we have the unison controls, which is just the voices controls. One unison control for each wavetable oscillator. There is width, different types of stacking of stacks and unison modes. The stacks just means the voices are going to go. Here is an octave or a fifth, etc. So see this like a choir. You have more voices in your oscillator instead of just one voice, different offsets and different settings so you get a richer sound. Let's check the rest of the oscillator controls. This is the warp. The warp is one of the biggest contributors in this in this synth and it just makes the wavetable change in in various different ways so like you can sync it you can bend it you can shift it asymmetrically or fm from any other oscillator So all these are different types of algorithms that will change your sound in a different way. The FM will need a source and it's not going to be going to the mixer of the synth, but just going as a modulation source. So that's the beginning of the audio path and it all goes into the filter and the effects subsequently. note modulation this means different notes on the keyboard will have different modulation points on your assigned parameter and here you can change the curve as much as you want it is pretty intuitive all this is drag and drop modulations Velocity is just how hard you hit the notes. All the way to the left, we, ha we have the mod wheel and all the macro controls. All this is drag and drop modulations. 
you can just drag and drop anywhere or just select in the matrix from here to here. So here is the filter and you have every source going into the filter here. You have oscillator A, B, noise and sub. And this button is key tracking, a bit like the note modulation. Every different note on the keyboard will do different modulation points on the filter this time. So here we have the portamento or glide controls. When using portamento, you want one note's pitch to bend onto the other note's pitch instead of changing when you play different MIDI notes. The time knob just controls how long it's going to take to bend from one note to the other. Here we have two types of glide, always, which will bend the note every time you play it. And legato means that it will only bend when you overlap the two MIDI notes. This little, this little window is for selecting your presets and you can save your presets here. There is a lot in this menu that we're not going to look at because it's a little bit more advanced. It's a lot of resampling and, well, many things. So we're not going to see this now. Now we're going to see the modulations. Here we have the two basic types of modulators, which one is LFO. This is a cycle and it will just cycle through certain frequency. Well, one eighth, one quarter, you can sync it, you can not sync it. This is just, it's cyclical, so it will keep going. And then we have the envelope. So you can see here, this one is just going to go once. An envelope is just shaping your sound. The attack is just the start of the sound. So you can make it slower. After the attack, there is a hold time, and then also a de decay time. The hold and decay are also measured in milliseconds or seconds. It's just the time that it takes between the attack and the sustain. Which, if you, if, if you press the note for longer than the decay time, you'll reach the sustain. The sustain will just stay there while you're pressing the note, until you release the note and then goes to the release which is a fade out so you can also use the lfos in a very similar way this is the velocity control so it's just how hard you hit the keys on the keyboard it will just go up and down let's see this lfos they have a few controls there's two kinds of dots there's the white dot that it's an actual point or node in the lfo and then there is the blue dots, which are the curves. The nodes, we can move them around. But the curves only go up and down, and it will just curve up or down the line between the two nodes. The white dots, or the nodes, with, with Alt pressed, will lock onto grid. And this is very useful for browsing around the LFO to find a nice shape. And with shift, it will draw, like draw lines. This is your grid, and you can adjust it to match rhythmically or to match whatever shape you want. Now, let's see the new controls. I just downloaded the update, and it's killer. So let's just check it out. Here now, let's just grab a macro and put it on the LFO. This is one of the new features, and this is amazing. So now we have X and Y controls for this LFO point. I'm going to move it around with the macro, so you can see. You can also reach it on the matrix page.
you can see here how it's moving and how the range of the modulation is changing right down at the LFO. So this way you can add any modulator into any point of the LFO and it will change the shape. This is very cool for pads and it's very, very, very useful for evolving synths and a little bit more complex sound design. This is another cool new thing from Serum. You can just also select these curves and the curve will follow the modulator that you select. So this is a lot of control for an LFO, I think. Amazing. Now let's say that we want this modulation. Let's just hover over the top left corner of Serum and you'll see this little thing pop up. You just drag from here into an audio track or an empty space in your door and it will instantly export the audio into your sequencer. <laughs> This is also very useful, as you can imagine. And now finally, let's go into the FX, directly from the filter into the output. And so here is a very cool new feature. Here we have the mix of the effect, it has been there forever. But now if you click where it says mix, we get the level of the effect. So we can really drive the level here, or turn it down, or however we want, like this is, handy thing to have in the middle of the effects just a little bit of gain staging so i'll be posting my patreon page very soon with a few bundles for people that want to take this to the next level anyways that's all for now if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel we will keep doing this until we can i'm trying to make videos for everyone's needs so if you think there is any subject that you want me to explain, let me know below in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time.